It's Thursday, August the 15th, and this is week two of Demolition. Week two, and we're, it's I just stuck my head around the corner and looked at it, and we have carpeting going in today. All right. The mud guys earlier this week did that. We with had some paint. demo guys come yeah. knock some walls down. Wall. Uh, knock walls down and we were talking to bob scarborough and he was uh we're now thinking about how to reconfigure and so we're in the almost the reconfigure so maybe i'd say three weeks two weeks three weeks i'd say i'd say on the outside labor day. Three. yeah i'd say it's labor day or maybe a little we'll later. be in our new digs looking we'll forward excited. to that we're going to take some pictures when we finish today so we have some before and after before and after yeah and, and I'll, I'll give you a hint um, you'll have to guess. It's a big green screen. Mm, we're having we, a big we, green screen. We're gonna, we're gonna use so we can do the weather, weather if we wanted to. We do the weather. We do that um, if we need to. You like sports. I like sports. I could get, we could put do the that. put the scores up. So yep. we'll uh, so it's a whole lot of things going on. Well, this week uh, kind of like the weather. Some rain, some blue skies, uh, some hot days, some cool days. A little bit of everything this week. Uh, it, uh, absolutely, we're, it. Uh, the volatility is still there. I think I think we've had in the last 30 days, 16 of those days have been where the the markets have been up or down at least 1%. There were four days where it was up or down 2% and one day, which was Tuesday week uh, ago, where it was uh, down 3%. So we've we've um, expected to have volatility, and it came it came as expected. Let me uh, surprise you. I know you like these that you don't know what I'm going to ask oh, you, and those. so you have to uh, to think on your feet, and you're really good at that. Um, let me uh, tell you uh, of uh, multiple phone calls I am getting and the exact question I'm being asked. And let's give a very, it, it could be a very long answer and we don't have time for it, but let, I'd be interested in your very short answer on it. The question is this, and let's don't go down, let's, it, it's a political question. Let's don't go down politics. Let's don't go down personalities or whether you like one versus other. Okay. Just the question itself. Will the outcome of the presidency the individual who is elected, whether it's Harris or whether it's Trump, if it is Harris, will the stock market crash? It, I don't know that it will crash. I think we will see um, a sell-off of some magnitude um, if one is elected over another. Okay. You and I will differ on that. I have been saying I don't believe you will see a crash because the word has been used crash. Well, cra crash in my vernacular means we're talking 30, 35% decrease, right. and you, I don't you, see that. You believe there would be some sort of, of, decli it, it, of decline? Some, some decline in that, the that, that is not a permanent decline, but it's a decline. I, and my response is I believe, um, and I think we would agree on this, I believe you would see a change. I think you would would have to we would have to rethink what areas we would want to go with based on who is president. And, and we and we did that when Biden was elected in 20 and we we ch we chose some green new deal types of stocks and for the most part they they served us well. Right. In 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 what I believe is happening and why this question is surfing it for surfacing and why I'm bringing it to the table here is because there is so much being presented on a daily basis by so many media sources on both sides of telling the horrors of both candidates. Yes, it, 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 everyone is trying to scare the heck out, out, of, out, of, the uh, out of voters. And There's no so doubt about that. That's why the question's coming to us, and our answer back to you is th the market is more resilient than in who is the president, and especially if the House and the Senate are split it, because nothing is going to yeah, get Yeah, my, my biggest concern is that we have the debt that we have and – Regardless of who's going to be elected is going to create more debt. I just I think one side would create more debt than the other side. Right. All right. But that's how that that's the direction. But the individual itself, I think you and I would agree, would not 
drive the market to collapse no, or crash. No, no, no. Okay. Not a so collapse. that's that's Not the collapse. message we want to send, and I wanted to share with you that there is ways to navigate challenges regardless of who is elected and if you like the person or dislike the person. And so that's what we I wanted to share this morning. Okay. Well, I think that was a, a good segment then. All right. Um, each and every week you can follow us. Each and every day you could call us. You can listen to us on our uh, uh, web uh, videos that we send out every week. But we do this each and every week. We're having meetings on a very regular basis about portfolios, and we're taking advantage of opportunities. We do this because it is your money. And your money matters. We will talk to you next week. See you next week.